the evacuation process. Oh, that's awesome. That is just awesome. Look at that. This is where it all happens, Jack. The nerve center. All the systems, the network, the security. It's all controlled from here. Is it a boy? Is it someone? What, what is in there? Don't worry about that. It's an automated pharmacy manufacturing medicines. Oh, you can do that. Jack, we can do anything. It's all here. All the technology you and I can ever need. We can build a new world, a new order, you and I, together. Over here. If you think I'm gonna fall for the scum in the alley routine, you're sadly mistaken. It's a nice way to greet your friends. Jay! <laughs> easy, easy. Shh. You don't want to attract attention. I've been so worried about you. Well, I, I mean, we've all been worried about you. It's good to see you. <clears throat> oh, Amber, this is Daryl. He's on our side. Like we've got much of a side. We have. The Rebel Alliance is now a fact. Really? It wasn't easy. Even with Ebony? Even with her. Jay, we should stay out here. It's open season on us. Right. Amber, we have a hideout. Fancy a rebel breakfast? Absolutely. That's it. You just pack it all away. Why don't you go and live with your robot geek friends? You know, I might do that because this place is full of people screaming all the time. What have they done to you, Jack? Let's see if they've given me a job, appreciation, and intelligent conversation. No, they've turned you into a sadistic little creep. Yeah, and the other thing they do is they don't screech in my ear. You are not going through with this punishment madness. Look, Ellie, society needs a control valve. Oh, listen to you. You're Mega's little parrot. Fine. Hey! Take your stupid tacky gadgets with you. I'll be overjoyed to be rid of them. Idiot, that mechanism's fragile. So are people's feelings. You're so wrapped up with your stupid toys, you've lost such people. Yeah, you know, whatever. But I... Get out! Come on, go in, you crazy bat. It's round three. Ellie jabs and a right hook. Jack's up against the ropes. It's not a pretty sight, ladies and gentlemen. Lex, it's not funny. I know, it's tragic. You yeah, whatever happened to those two? They used to be all over each other. I'm sick of the sight of you. Yeah, maybe too much all over each other. Jack and Ellie were so good together, though. I mean, if they can't make it work... Live with a guy? Get to see all his disgusting habits. Let a guy get away from you. Gal. And who knows what he's up to. Oops, I didn't mean Jay. I'm sure he's a good boy out in Liberty. Gal, you look really good with a towel stuffed in your gob right now. Hey, that's... That's it. Mega deserves a smack in the mouth for what he's done. Way to go, girl. Ellie! Hope she doesn't go and do anything crazy. So you're saying Java was a figment of the imagination? No, sir. Then why hasn't she been found? We've searched everywhere. You've heard of the new punishment game, haven't you? We're kind of short of people to take part. Something's very wrong. Double all security, increase all patrols. Java must be found. You shouldn't have come back to the city. Though I'm glad you did. There's a price on your head. Somebody's gonna stir up trouble. And I know Megaland. There's something really familiar about that guy. <laughs> I should think so. Amber, meet Zoot. What? Power and chaos. Mega's been using him as a zoot double, but he's one of us now. <laughs> Never thought I'd be working alongside the mighty zoot. Mm. Yeah, well, it's time that zoot told his side of the story. 
Hey, how's the tribe doing? Not good. And Trudy misses you. A lot. Mm. I could arrange for her to come here, secretly. Yeah, yeah, that, that'd be great. Well, I better get going. I don't want Mega getting suspicious about where I am. Take care, Jay. So, that's the great Amber. Pretty girl. Come on. I've got work to do. Now, you should really book an appointment, but as your boyfriend's been so helpful, I thought I'd overlook it. Or is it ex-boyfriend? You've got some nerve. And so have you, it seems. Be careful, Ellie. You're disgusting. The way you've got your tentacles into Jack. Jack is simply working somewhere where his talents are appreciated. Yeah, by the likes of you. And where people think clearly instead of vomiting up a load of emotional rubbish. Every tyrant has a logic to justify their oppression. You're on dangerous ground, Ellie. I think you should get a grip of yourself. Yeah? Well, I think you should get a grip of this! That was a mistake. Go suck on your hard drive! I think somebody just volunteered herself. Volunteered for what? Nice hearing. Savis. It was Savis. It's funny how the world can just slip away in a moment. Yeah. How are you feeling? I didn't think I was the crying type. Sometimes it's good, letting it out. Thanks. For being there. I'll always be there. <laughs> the first time you saw me, I was leading a pack of lunatics who locked guys in cages. Yeah, as I recall, you tried to lock me up too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly what? So, well, why are you so interested? You could have any woman you want. I've seen the way Ruby looks at you. Well, maybe I don't want just any woman. Well, you should think about it. She'd give you an easier time than a mad warrior queen. Well, who says I want an easy time? The mad queen has fire in her eyes. And I don't like to get bored. Pretty persistent, aren't you? <laughs> so, how do you know you'll like it if you get it? Let's just say I trust my instincts. And it's not if, it's when. You're cool. I'm sorry about Java. It was self-defense, Ram. Now, you wouldn't be thinking about revenge? Come on now, Slade. We're all on the same team, aren't we? Well, that is the general idea. Style. What do you think? Won't you miss having the use of your hands? Should have known not to ask you about fashion. Where's those sweeties you said you'd get? I got something better. For instance? For instance. Sammy! It's beautiful. It looks expensive. Yeah, I reckon it is. And is it for anyone in particular? for you. It's gorgeous. If only I had my earrings here to go with it. I left them in the cafe. I'll get them. Oh dear, oh dear. What have we here? I I'm busy, Lex. So I can see. Lady Max got you fetching and carrying like a prize doggy. Be careful she doesn't get you fixed as well. What are you talking about? How do you expect a girl to be interested in you when you're such a pushover? She is interested. Yeah, in having a slave. She enjoys using you, but you're not going to graduate from lapdog. Not. Now, take a tip from Uncle Lex. 
You want a girl to notice you as a man. Don't be all over. They can smell your desperation. Act as if you're not interested. Then she will be. But that doesn't make sense. Ah, <sighs> I know, female psychology. I don't write the rules. Just trying to save you from yourself. Are you sure about this? Do I know women? Do I know women? Selene? Hey. What are you doing in bed? Are you sick? Not really. You don't have a temperature. Like I said, I'm not sick. So what's up? I just don't feel like I can face anything today. Or anyone. Oh, you can't stay in bed all day. Why not? Because you've got a lot to offer. There's, there's people out there that need you, that care about you. Like who? We all do so. Come on, where's the Celine that I've come to respect? Responsible, caring, positive, a fighter? I just don't care anymore. Is he all right? How did he look? He looks fine. And where is he? Is he safe? Yeah, he's got a hideout. Did he ask about me? Of course. I've set up a meeting between you two. Um, but you need to be really careful going there. No one can see you. Oh, Amber, thank you so much. You're amazing. <laughs> Look, Sidney's on. Some new piece of wisdom from our glorious leader. Today, CityNet brings you a fabulous new spectacle. A fiendish challenge. Make it join the circus? Designed to test our most hardened criminals. What's she talking about? An interactive entertainment with some shocking surprises. Shocking? Tonight, Who our spectacle stuff? stars someone you'll love to fry. For crimes against the state, we present one of those high and mighty mall rats, Ellie! What? Will Ellie fry? Or will she make it through her punishment? Tune into CityNet late this afternoon. They're gonna punish Ellie on CityNet. This is sick. I knew we shouldn't have let her go out. We should have stopped her. This punishment game, Jack invented. Jack wouldn't harm Ellie, would he? You heard him this morning. There's no love lost there. I've got you in my arms again. Feels like a dream. Jay, you don't know how much I've missed you. I've laid awake so many nights hugging my pillow, imagining it was you. Your pillow? I know, I know. But it's nothing like the real thing. Oh, Jay, I've missed you so much. <laughs> uh, so, what's the news at the mall? Oh, well, it's terrible. Ellie went wild with Megan, so now he's gonna put her in some sort of punishment game. Punishment game. Yeah, they're gonna broadcast it on CityNet. Mega has really flipped. I almost feel bad for feeling so happy today, but I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful about Ellie, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, she had it coming. Too keen on playing Little Miss Bossy Boots. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. What is it with you today? Would you like to get me a drink? Not especially. What you doing? Oh, nothing that interests you. Well, how do you know? I'm just in a lot of stuff. I mean, um... Uh, see me? Oh, wait. Where are you going? She willfully tried to wreck two computers. That's state property that benefits everyone in the safe zone. She was upset. She's a vandal. She should learn to control her emotions. Look, Maga, please, don't do this. She did it to herself. She was obviously in a state. Why did you even let her in here? Let's not muddle the issue here, Amber. Mara wants to talk to me. I let them in. Okay. This is not about me. Maga, you really, you really got to give her a second chance. I'll tell you what. How about we let Jack decide? I can't be much fairer than that. 
Well, how about it, Jack? Does Allie go to the game? Or do we set her free with a little pat on the head and a lollipop? Come on, Jack, this is Allie we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, she has given a great T-Rex impersonation lately. Jack, whatever's happened between you two recently, you cannot send her to this, this chamber of horrors. It's Ellie, you know? You, you've got to think of the good times that you've had, too. Your decision, Jack. Jack. I think, um, there's no excuse for smashing state equipment. Ellie should be punished. <sighs> Is that one ivory? Some of the characters in there have cool costumes. Mm-hmm. By the way, the locket, it's not real gold. But hang on. I gotta go now. I think I'll go see Lex. See if he wants to spend some quality time with me. Hey, wait. I'm sorry, did you want something? Well, well, Lex wouldn't be interested in quality time. He's got far too much to do. Why don't you stay here? I suppose I could, if you bought me a sandwich. I'm not doing that. Oh, Lex. All right, I'll do it. And a glass of juice too, please. There's a lot of patrols out there. You think they're on to us? Megan must be getting jumpy. With Java gone, he's lost the real brains behind his military. He knows he's vulnerable. You better get going. No, Jay, I, I want to stay here with you. It's not possible. But I'll worry. You do not know what it's like never knowing where you are, always imagining the worst. You have to get back to the mall and Brady. No. Trudy, the more people that are here, the more dangerous it is. But... We'll be together soon. I promise. Please be careful. You know, it's none of my business and all, but uh, I'd say <clears throat> Trudy lights your fire a lot less than Amber does. You're right. It is none of your business. Hi, and welcome to the pain game. The game where you can get your own back on all those criminals and lowlives that foul up our city. And now, meet our very first contestant, a celebrity no less, and the girl who takes some punishing. Way steady on there. The one, the only, Ellie! Look, there she is. Can Ellie make it out of the tunnel before the time's up and we plug into the main grid? Don't forget to vote for voltage levels whenever she makes an error. Jack, don't do this! Don't worry, Jack must have something planned. He would have, Ellie. <laughs> Ow! Shopping! Something on your mind, Ruby? Why should there be? Well, spit it out if you got something to say. Ebony? <clears throat> Concentrate on the bike. You seem to be getting pretty close. Look, is there a point to this, Ruby? Just a friendly interest. Curious how you see Ebony in all this. He wants to see her without her clothes. Lottie, can you give us a few minutes, please? But I'm helping Slade. Lottie, scram. I'm only saying what's true. You two are just a couple of 
Hippofritz, ha! Huh? <laughs> Look, Eben is a street fighter. Ruthless, tough. We need people like her if we're gonna bring Mega down. Uh -huh, and that's all you need her for. Oh, Ruby. Look, I know you're a free agent, Slade, and I don't have any claim on you. Well, that's true. But I can't help caring. Caring or interfering? <laughs> all right. Look, all right. But you're supposed to be leading a revolt, not chasing after a new conquest. Yeah, I haven't forgotten. <sighs> well, just remember, wild animals are just that. Wild. Doing pretty well, folks, but she better hurry up. The juice is coming on, oh, so soon. Girl. No, 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 she has to be punished. I made it way too easy. Allie! No! Yeah. <laughs> Ruby, if that's you, I'm not in the mood for. For what? What are you not in the mood for? Games. This is no game. It's not if anymore. It's when. Your call. Why now? Well, why not? Because you don't do things without a reason. Reason enough? Ooh, what's this, Slade? Speechless? My words are overrated. Oh, what's the matter? You regretting it already? Mm -hmm. It's just... What? Just what? Well, I've been chasing this horizon for so long. I was never sure I'd reach it. Well then. Let's rearrange some geography. So good, he almost convinced me. Do you think Mega bought it? Yeah. We're on our way, Ellie. We're on our way. 